You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network. Here at Wonderland Learning Center, we're located at 288 East Main Street in San Jacinto. We provide a safe and secure learning environment. We are now enrolling two to five-year-olds with our preschool curriculum. We offer before and after school care. Breakfast, lunch, and snacks are provided. We accept all programs. We are open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Our website is wonderlandlearningcenter.com. Hello, my name is Takasha Smith. I'm the owner of Takasha's Kitchen, based out of Menifee, in the Southern California area. As a chef and caterer, I provide private cooking classes, couples dinners, and private parties. As a female pitmaster, I am able to create a personalized experience for your family reunion gatherings. I create menus based on my clients' needs to have a more personal vibe. You can find Takasha's Kitchen on all social media networks, such as Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and my YouTube channel at Takasha's Kitchen. And that's spelled T-A-C-A-S-H-A-S, Kitchen, K-I-T-C-H-E-N. You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network. Welcome to Loudmouth Radio Network. My name is Sunny. As a former professional athlete turned entrepreneur realtor and the producer of Loudmouth Radio Network, I look forward to bringing content to you that empowers, inspires, and entertains you. Tune in each week as we have unscripted and unfiltered talks from entrepreneurship, real estate, politics, entertainment, comedy, LGBTQ topics, day-to-day life, and everything in between. All shows available on demand 24-7 on your favorite podcast platforms. And she can post this on her social media too. So guys, we are back at this. So uh, we're live on Facebook right now. I know my followers are already uh, seeing our feed and I am now officially recording and live and welcome. So look, I'm gonna welcome her to her center. (laughs) (laughs) But we are actually uh, on Live Our Radio Network. Uh, We are on location at Wonderland Learning Center, which is in the heart of San Jacinto. San Jacinto, people be talking about me, I'll say the name wrong, San Jacinto. It would be politically politically correct. At 288 East Main Street. So we're on Main Street. We're downtown San Jacinto, and we're at this beautiful establishment, and this lady that is right here to my left, the camera's looking to the right. Uh, So I'm just gonna tell you, I've been harassing her for like five years, no, I'm just kidding. (laughs) But I have been harassing her since almost last summer, right? Yeah. Because I have watched, uh, I've watched you guys grow and progress to the the point of getting open, and I just want to congratulate you for that. And I want to introduce you, so I just wanted to let the listeners know, straight up, we're going to have a great conversation because this is a hardworking entrepreneur that is here with us on the radio network live today. And because of that, I want to give an opportunity for our listeners to know uh, Ms. Lakeisha, I want you to tell uh, our audience your name and, and where you're from. And uh, we're going to get right into, you know, Wonderland, which is where we are. Yep, you guys see it's so cute behind us. I know they can see a little bit behind us, but Lakeisha, welcome to Live Rock Radio. Thank you. Thank you're welcome. You. Have, I'm going to have you go a little closer to your mic okay. a little bit. There okay. you go. Yeah, girl, that way I can hear you. <laughs> Put your throat to the mic. You know what I mean? Okay. So, Lakeisha, so please tell our listeners a little bit about yourself. Okay. Okay, we want mine. Yes. So my name is Lakeisha, yeah. um, owner operator of Wonderland Learning Center. I have been in education, uh, I would say, you know, for about twenty years. 
Okay. Okay. I did have a home daycare. Okay. And I decided that I wanted to expand to a center. You did that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> See, she went from home to yeah. <laughs> the big block house over here on the corner, right? Okay. <laughs> You asked for it, Sam. I know. Be careful, right? what you, be careful what you <laughs> asked for. Yes, yes. So how long did you have your home in home daycare? I had it for five years. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Yes. Okay. I had it for five years, and in 20, October of 22, we found this building. Okay, so we're two years in the making. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I just, I'm just a firm believer in um, providing a safe and um, fun learning environment for children. That's always been important to me. Absolutely. And you're still actively outside of the center. You're also in still in education. Yes. Yeah. I, um, Girl, I don't even know how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Professor at a uh, local college uh, here. You see her? I'm going to try to keep it. I'm going to try to keep it as professional. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, education Lakeisha, is. Lakeisha, you know you're in danger. <laughs> I am the host, but I am a comic, and I'm just going to try to hold and contain myself. Yes, yes. Because your constituents may see yes. this, and they were like, girl, did you hear Lakeisha's interview? Oh, my God. Right, and you're right, teaching right. who's baby? No, right. I was yeah, So yeah. five years home daycare, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Two years ago, you found this location. Yes. And so I got to ask, why San Jacinto? Well, I moved here about eight years ago. Okay, so you're familiar with the so area. So I'm familiar with the, the area. That's cool. Area, yes. That's cool. So you're in the community. Yes. Um, you stumbled on the block. Yes. Mm -hmm. Main Street. Yes. And it's a good thing. It's, it's something cool to be on Main Street. Yes. You know, and uh, you know, I think most most small American cities, uh, a lot of businesses started historically on Main Street. So it's got a cool synonymous meaning to right. it, right? And I think it's pretty cool that you're. Pretty much the um, the fertilizer for these babies that are here, mm -hmm. and you're giving them the the multitude of what they'll need to grow from, mm -hmm. right? So to be on Main Street and to do that, I think yeah. that's wonderful. I love Don't that. you cry on me, girl. I see your eyes <laughs> watering. I can see it. No, yeah, I love it. I know you got to. Cause mm -hmm. look, let me tell y'all something. Let me take look here. Y'all see my face? People need to know. Some people, everybody ain't supposed to teach your children. Mm -hmm. Because patience is a virtue. Yeah. And you really have to enjoy it. I do. Because if not, people will be looking at the cameras and see their kids hanging up by the upside down right. by their leg. <laughs> right. Come on, y'all know the truth. Right. These, these children you are different. The these <laughs> stories. You hear the horror stories. Yes. yes. So 20 years in education. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you find this space. Yes. And so once you found the space, you know, how, you know, what was the outlook for you to get to this point? Working with um, the city, you know, mm -hmm. there's many different avenues that um, a child care provider has to go through. You know, you have to work right. with the city, you have to work with the fire department, and then the state licensing. Okay. So, you know, I worked my way through through all that because I had the vision in my mind. Right. You, know, you have to. Because you know. I'm going to tell you guys, endurance is something that, you know, as an entrepreneur, even with you having 20 years of experience, the home, you know, you had a little more ease because of the right. home daycare, but when you get into a commercial building, right. there's a lot of hoops and there's a lot of things. And I can, I, I, I want to tell this because this is important for my listeners and people who are going to hear this show, even after the live feed we're doing here. Um, we said two years ago, you found this building and, and I'm going to tell you guys, her endurance in this process has been significant because I saw, I think the time I saw you was a year ago. Yeah. A year and a half ago because it was in the summer and I saw the sign and that you were coming and so we're talking about two year time spirit now how long have you been open June. see there are people you see what just happened <laughs> so I need y'all to bring all your children <laughs> yeah. help this woman recoup yeah. the endurance the long journey of patience uh, but this is what entrepreneurship looks like and um, that I think shows the dedication that you had to your vision because honey right 24 months of, of trial and tribulation right. and then you didn't open till june of this year which means that you were kind of a 12 14, 16 months of right. back and forth right right so 
Um, so you opened up in June. I don't want to accelerate you, but so as you were going through, did you have to do a lot of construction to this space or, or Not, clean up or it was clean up. improvements? Yeah. Improvements. improvements. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know, cause everything I saw, you know, it looked, you know, needed to be changed. Correct. To, to so you had to transform into yes, your vision. Exactly. Okay. Another level of endurance. Mm -hmm. Continues, right? <laughs> yeah. Listen, cause guys, I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes people miss what it takes for things like this to exist. And um, I think we're, we're in such this weird economical space mm -hmm. and nobody is, is, is uh, safe from the experience of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, it's people like me, I don't care. I'll be the loud mouth, I'll be the one, throw the egg, I don't care. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I share these platforms and these interviews and these opportunities to let people know that, okay, you come to Wonderland Learning Center, you come in, it's clean. It's pleasant, fresh, fresh paint. It's safe, and all those things. And it took some time for you to get this to this space. Yes. So you're here to stay. That's yes. the purpose of it. Which yes. means that the community mm -hmm. around you. I think it helps for people to have a better level of, of appreciation, mm -hmm. respect, mm -hmm. and consideration. Right. Mm -hmm. That this is a business that's taking pride in ownership. I think it shows significantly and that you care enough to do what you're doing right now on here. So I'm saying that. She don't have to, I just did. <laughs> Thank you. So we can continue. So June is when you got open, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And so now once we got to the point of being open, yes. we also opened up in the time period that kids were out of school. Yeah. Girl, they play too much. <laughs> imagine me sitting there So the like, city oh, said, we're going to let you open. Ain't nobody in school, bro. <laughs> Every car that passes by, I'm like, every coming here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> just start throwing cheese yeah. sandwiches out the window. Right. Just... right. So imagine my level of discouragement. I'm like, oh my God. Girl. <laughs> Nobody wants to. She's not wonder. lying. <laughs> She's not lying. She's like, I think they wonder why we're in right. this land. I think that's really. What the... right. I would come up here. I say, hey, Lakeisha. She'd be like, hey, girl. Hey. Did you bring she, was, <laughs> she was so blessed the first time. Even a, look, I, I'll talk to her whole family. I was like, hey, I see y'all opening up. I think your son was the first one yeah. to take the call. Yeah, we, he was real cool about it. And like a couple months, I said, well, I'll call you guys back. Okay, a couple months went by. I was like, hey, it's sunny. What you guys got going on? Are you open now? He said, we're doing some other things. I'll have the director give you a call back. Okay, still keeping it professional. Right. Another month go by. Then I got the director and she was like, hi, mm -hmm. just as pleasant as you see her now. I don't even know how you hold on right. to it, girl. <laughs> she was like, yes, we, we're, we have plans and we're opening yes. at some point. Yes. It, it, she should have just said, pray for me. Right. That's, I could hear it in between, we gonna. It was like right in between the we gonna mm -hmm. part. She was like, we, we, we get it. Yes, yes, yeah, we made it. We made it. Yeah. And so, you know, we can laugh about it now. Right. Yeah. But honey, do you understand? It was it was like 150 degrees out here mm -hmm. in June, Where, yeah. July, August. Oh, yeah. And we sitting here, and, and ain't no babies in, I, bring your babies in mm -hmm. here, right? Yeah. So when you got your first baby, did you oh. hear the harps? Yeah. Did the sky open up? <laughs> <laughs> you was like, finally. <laughs> Right, and we got, yeah, yeah, and they're, and they're still oh, here too. That's great, yeah. that's great. And they all just started coming. And that's wonderful. Yeah. So what's your capacity in here? 48. Okay, mm -hmm. we ain't gonna say the first 48. <laughs> 48. 48. And we're yeah, probably we a fourth of yeah. that, a little more past the fourth mm -hmm. mark mm -hmm. of, of, a, of a capacity. Yes. And um, I love you have the outside yard, like the kids outside playing right now. You see, she's, she looks calm, right? Yeah. <laughs> the baby's on recess. Yes. And it's the end of the day, so the families are coming to get them. Yes. So what are your age groups? So we service ages two to five. Okay. Okay. So preschool, pretty yes. much. You know, when we were growing up, say something smart. I swear, I felt like somebody in the social media <laughs> said something. Like, Damn, they had head start back then. <laughs> Don't do it. Right, right. But you know what? We had Head Start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I'm from Chicago, right? So okay. we had Head Start, then kindergarten. Okay, yes, that's how it works. Is it still Head Start? It's still Head Start. So where does preschool, give me preschool age. So Head Start and preschool are similar. 
Okay, same. Yeah, so okay. I, you know, every you know, Head Start has a curriculum, preschool curriculum. Okay. We here at Wonderland have a preschool curriculum. Okay. Um, but it's it's a preference for, for the parents. You know, if they okay. want to qualify for the Head Start program, they can do that. Okay. Because you know, certain preschools are privately owned. Mm -hmm. It would be you know tuition out of pocket. Like a charter. Yeah. Okay. But there are programs that will help parents. <clears throat> Paid for child care as well, and I girl. That's that. that's listen. That's another thing. Let me yes. tell you something. <sighs> child care. Yeah. I know a lot of you all like if that wasn't my baby, because <laughs> ooh, and when you have multiple children, right? Exactly. It's impressive. Like, what's the average for child care a um, week? Now? A week for a two to five year olds about two sixty a week. So for those who have two and three, four right. little babies under five, I'm praying for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here yes. at Wonderland, we have all <laughs> types of programs to help parents Wonderful. and to assist. Yeah, with that. So you guys hear that? Yeah. That's important. <laughs> yeah. Because you know, I, I got doggy babies. You know, and even doggy daycare is <laughs> out of control. Right. I'm like, get yeah, that baby some care, but just let it run free. You know what I'm saying? You can't stay at the house long ago. You know? Right. Right. But even with, you know, acceleration of things that are happening, I think it's great when you're resourceful mm -hmm. and you're able to provide the, uh, the, the academic support for their growth, but yeah. you're also able to help financially right. give them a, a space to be able to get the assistance for yeah. their children to uh, attend. Right. Yeah. So uh, what type of programs uh, or your curriculums, like what are they kind of based, what would you say they're based from? So our curriculum is, you know, it's a preschool curriculum, and so okay. um, children learn letter recognition, numbers, learning okay. to recognize their name. Um, you know, okay. just preparing them for kindergarten. Yes. You know, so, yeah. yeah. So you know, so funny now nowadays. It's funny because our children, technology has forced them to accelerate a lot quicker. Right. You know, they know how to work your cell phone better than you. Right, yes. But I, I think I think it's weird that in the education system, they're like, oh, yeah, we're taking our cursive writing. Why? Mm -hmm. We don't need to be writing bubblegum lettering. Right. Uh, you know, like, we used to take pride in mm -hmm. things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And so, like, you know, as far, for you now being a center, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things that you want to impactfully uh, provide to the children and the you know the parents and the children in the in the community. So definitely um, focus on you know learning with your child. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, we don't do electronics. We don't do mm -hmm. you know. There's no TVs no in TV. here. <laughs> Listen, no. that's wonderful. There's no television in here. Learning through play is is important. Mm -hmm. You know, because it starts to give them a love of learning and wanting to be in school. All five senses. Mm -hmm. Right, that's good. Yeah, I did notice like right before we went live, you were doing a tour. Yes, and I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but you know I was through. <laughs> so <laughs> I heard you tell the parent, "Yeah, there's no televisions in here," yeah. and it's so funny that I don't think people have come to realize how much we have become so programmed with televisions, and you know, like the old school people, like the dummy box, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, I think it's important that you're maintaining the essence of the applied learning. Yes. That's very important. Mm -hmm. um, so for you, uh, what, what do you desire for your center when people hear about it? What do you want them to know that could separate you from other centers? Well, what's important to me and the reason why I created um, an open wonderland was mm -hmm. because I want to give parents a sense of safety. You know, okay. they feel safe bringing their children you know, <laughs> to take care. You know? I was wondering because I saw one of the children flying past and I was scared. I was like, is it their shoes? Yeah, you know, just a safe um, learning environment. Okay, for, good. for kids. You yes. know, when you drop your child off, just know that they're in a loving environment. Correct. You know, they're learning mm -hmm. and you know, they're you know, enjoying their day. Right. Definitely. And and for you in this space, I, I like that it's open. Mm -hmm. So like what's your, your your teacher kid ratio? So state, you know, the state ratio is mm -hmm. one teacher to twelve um, oh, wow. children. Yeah. But we you know, we have more than of course one teacher because mm -hmm. I think it's important to make sure that supervision is there. I mean, when you have 12 little ones running around, you need more than two, you know, as one set up. You know, right, so it's, right, you know, right. It's important to, mm -hmm. to make sure that you have that balance, mm -hmm. to make sure that safety is there, you know, supervision is there with the kids. Absolutely. 
And so for, you know, what, what has been the response from the community since you've been here? You know, a lot of them have um, come in, you mm -hmm. know, wanting to sign up their child. I've led a lot of them to resources um, mm -hmm. that they need to either assist with child care or, or any other things that they're interested in for their child. But okay. they love it. You know, the, the response is good. Um, they Some of them come in and like, oh, we didn't know it was here. And, we're glad that you're here. So it's been a good, a good response. From good, good. And I think it's important you stay plugged in to what your community is yeah. saying and what they desire. Mm -hmm. um, and I think in this community, there's a lot of working families over here. Mm -hmm. So I think you're in a phenomenal space. I think that you are part, part of one of the many necessary needs, not just from the edu education, but there's something wonderful about a new business bringing breath mm -hmm. and, 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 and invigorating an area. And Main Street typically was that area where there was flourishing businesses, right? Mm -hmm. And so Central Center, I, I, you know, I'm a licensed realtor mm -hmm. too. And I look at, I look at, uh, I look at communities and I can sometimes, uh, not sometimes, but many times look and see okay within five years this is going to be different right and right now the acceleration is probably even three and a half out here mm -hmm. because you have a lot of families from the bay area mm -hmm. from um, orange county and la counties that are starting to migrate into this area because of the housing costs right it's become a lot more attractive mm -hmm. so i saw an article a few about maybe about a month and a half ago and actually this area, San Jacinto Hemet, was on the radar for one of the most populous uh, areas in the entire state of California okay. of people moving into the area. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is because of the economical changes. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, unfortunately we're talking about California. Mm -hmm. You know, most homes in outside of this area, they're starting at five, six, seven hundred thousand right. on average. Right. So here they're like, okay, you can still find a nice home, four hundred, five hundred thousand. Right. right. So then you're gonna have a wealth of new families coming into the area right. with children. There's a new school that they're building over here right off of uh the uh, Ramona Expressway, a brand new elementary school. Okay. So a lot of families of course that have raised with children that will start at that time period, but then also have little siblings that may also be able to come to your center. Right. Because your ages are two to five. five yes. So kindergarten normally starts in the education center, at, I mean, at the school at level. The school. What's, what age? Right at, right at six. six. Yeah. So you're actually a kindergarten. So, no, so we don't do a kindergarten curriculum. Okay, you don't do it. Right, so if it, they're five, it's because they haven't met that age. Um, the cutoff. Sort of the cutoff. What is it now? I believe you have to be five before. I want to say September. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because I'm on October, baby. After September, then you miss that cutoff. Right, and you go into the a later right. enrollment. Yeah, you have to enroll next year. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. So for you, are you a, 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 a 24 not a 24 seven operation, but are you a year round operation? I am, yes. Okay. So how does that work as far as like in the summer? We're open. Okay. It's, you know, it's Monday through Friday. Okay, Monday through Friday. What are your hours? 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Okay, perfect, perfect. Have you ever provided any um, overnight or Only consider that? Only at the daycare, not okay. at the center. The center is strictly Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Okay, perfect. So now that we're going into, I think, four months mm -hmm. that you're, you've been occupied and yes. open, uh, what's your desire now for the next threshold, especially for your attendance? I know you still have a lot of room for enrollment. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I just want to get, get our name out there in the community, let them know we're here. You yes. know, if they're traveling, you know, they have some, you know, work in other cities and they don't know that we're here. So that's mm -hmm. my vision, that's my goal, is just to get our name out there. Yes. The community and let them know we're here for them. Absolutely. And so for those who, uh, right now we're kind of forward facing this direction, but behind me, what is these sections that are sitting behind us? So they're each classroom is broken down by age. And okay. So we don't, you know, just put them all together because they're all at different levels. And okay. So we have two year old class, the three, four, and then the five year old class. Okay. Huh? And they exist. What the are little you ones doing? Are, the little ones this are here. This is one of my lovely students here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? He keeps us busy. Yes. Ah. See, the babies are really <laughs> and busy. And I just love them. Be careful. <laughs>
Okay, so we're back live on our right. audio recording. We're still live on social media, guys. We just had, we got invaded by the babies. Y'all saw he wanted to have his cameo session while we were here having our interview. <laughs> So, Lakeisha, can you hear me fine? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, we were saying you're year round. Yes. And I forgot where we were at that moment, but you were saying that you're a year round curriculum. Yeah. Oh, the age group. Yeah. We're talking about the space. Yes. Yeah. So, so you got different ages that are separated. Mm -hmm. So, you're doing two to five. So, pretty much the toddler. Yeah, so the two-year-olds, the uh, three, fours, and then we have the five-year-olds. Okay, so they kind of mesh in. That's a good. That's a good lateral because uh -huh. they get to learn from one another. Five year olds are already like, dude. I'm going to kindergarten. Like, that doesn't feel right. They're already advancing at five years old. Yeah. So I, I actually. Hold on. I think the baby came and snatched my flyer. Uh -huh. You got me, girl. Got me. So the preschool, after school daycare, and so you actually provide breakfast, lunch, and snack. And a snack. Yeah. Okay. Um, wonderful. So we do all three meals. Okay. Perfect. And so what about the kids? Do they have to be in school at the same time? And for those who are um, in this vicinity, like, where, what areas are you pretty much having people come in from? You know, it's basically seven central in that area. I do have some parents who. Required from Marietta because they work. Um, I'm coming to this area. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Beaumont, Vanny. So just from all over. That's good. Yeah. Because they, they see the website. Mm -hmm. um, and what's the earliest they can drop off? At 6 a.m. Okay, and what's the latest pickup time? 6.30. Okay, yeah. which right now we're at like uh, a few minutes to six, so of course you guys, you all saw the babies in here live yeah. doing their thing, <laughs> and they're like, what are we doing? Okay, they're like, what are you doing? What are we doing? It's, it, 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 yes, yeah. the, the intuitiveness is here, right? Yeah. So for, uh, for anyone that has had, you know, um, previous uh, experiences with you know dealing with different centers mm -hmm. um, are they able to transfer their children in at any time anytime yes. okay Even so there's no enrollment no waiting period, waiting period. Yeah. okay yeah. okay so it's like they're at another center mm -hmm. yeah they can always transition over to to wonderland okay and how long typically does it take for you to get them in take in, in into a curriculum uh, i would say a couple days Okay, so not, not a long time. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So for us that are, you know, listening in um, as it pertains to the, the learning center aspect of it and, and providing um, a center like this in the community, uh, what do you feel is the next thing for your, you know, your, your, your company's growth mm -hmm. in, in this space? You know, is there something additional that you have not yet accomplished that you'd like to do? In, I, in, in this location so far? More just, you know, getting our name out okay. there in the community. It's just the fact that there more people need to know about the same. Yeah, exactly. You're already ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, you guys are independently owned. Yes. Uh, are you open to franchising? No. No. She's like, girl, I'm, <laughs> I'm slowing down. Yeah. <laughs> Do you plan on opening up more centers? Um, yeah. That's, That's a consideration. That's a consideration. Okay. 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 Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Well, I, I think the most important thing is uh, I want to make sure that people know how to find you. Okay. Uh, could you give your social media and, and web web information yes. for our listeners? Honey? Yes. So our website is Wonderland. Okay. Uh, Child care. She's like, <laughs> no, what's going on? Wait a minute. Is that the name? <laughs> <laughs> WonderlandLearningCenter.com. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at it. WonderlandLearningCenter.com. Okay, and and what is your contact information for the locations? Do you have a number here? Yes, 951-426-7829. And what about social media? You're on Facebook. We're on Facebook, Wonderland Learning Center. Okay, Instagram? No. No, okay. So guys, go to Facebook. We wanted her to go live, but we ain't had no friends on Facebook, so she couldn't go up. She's like, son, don't be telling my business. It, there is requirements now. There's a few of them, just, just so you don't know who to tell okay. no. Hey guys, do me a favor. Go to her page, it's Wonderland Learning Center, and I need you guys to like and follow her page yes. so that more people can get more traction. And, and the, the great thing is that we'll have this segment available for replay. Um, you, you got to see the baby evasion and everything happening if he's watching us on social media. <laughs> And uh, as yeah. far as the audio, you guys will be good. I'm gonna edit everything out. Don't don't try to judge us, okay? 
<laughs> it's Friday. Right. And the babies, they it's Friday for them too. Okay. Yeah. So I appreciate your time. Thank you. I appreciate you having me. Yes. So guys, make sure you support and put the word out there for Wonderland Learning Center uh, right here in downtown San Jacinto. Yes. And uh, Monday through Friday. Yes. 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. operational hours. Yes. Perfect. Thank All right, you. guys. Thank you for tuning in to Loudmouth Radio Network. You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network.